whether you're a functional bullet journaler or a creative bullet journaler or somewhere in between, I'm hoping that you can find some inspiration from today's video. Hi everybody, thank you for joining me today. Today I wanted to talk about weekly layout inspiration. I've done monthly and calendar view type inspiration pages, which I'll link up in the cards above. But today I wanted to talk about different ways that you can create weekly layouts in your bullet journal. So we'll start with the bullet journal method. It's been a while since I have done anything close to it, but basically you can write your date and your task list for the day and just go. That is always an option, especially if you're just getting into bullet journaling or if you are on the more functional end, that is another thing you can consider um, when you don't have time or energy. <laughs> You can just use the journal like it was meant to as a catch-all for your thoughts and your to-dos for the day. If we want to get more creative with our bullet journal layouts, we can consider horizontal layouts or vertical layouts. So I'm showing you some vertical layout ideas that you can use. The first layout I'm showing you is from July 2018 when I was heavily into my creative journaling. And then I'm also showing you July 2020 which is not quite as vibrant, <laughs> doesn't have as much going on creatively. Um, but that's just to kind of give you an idea. Now, especially for my 2020 layouts, I've relied heavily on the Alistair method, which I'll link up in the cards for you so you can go check that out. But it's basically a rapid logging task list. And so in my 2020 layouts, I took advantage of that method quite a bit. So that's why you'll see that a lot. But if the Alistair method's not for you, you can consider filling the space with either a memory keeping option or a habit tracker option for you. Whatever you need to kind of get things done, remind you of your focus, remind you of your goals for that week. You can really make that space your own. And another version of the vertical layout I wanted to share with you was my December 2020, where I turned my notebook on its side and I did the layout across the two pages. That gave me a lot of space to get my task list in. You can make your daily boxes a bit wider, that way you have more space to write stuff down. And then again, use that extra space as a memory keeping for the holiday season or whatever you need for your habit trackers and staying on top of your goals for the end of the year. The next ideas I wanted to talk to you about are horizontal layouts. These are my favorite. I use them a lot. <laughs> so I have lots of inspiration for you. I'm sharing some ideas here for you, but if you want more ideas and more inspiration, you can head on over to my blog, which I've linked down below, and I will have a gallery of layout inspiration down there for you that you can check out. But for me personally, I feel the vertical gets the most out of the pages for me. My absolute favorite vertical layout to use is the Hobonichi inspired layouts, which I've also used in my latest July setup, which I'll link the video up in the cards above. So those are basically how you can set up your journal. You can just do your rapid, rapid task list for the day and create a new day. You can do horizontal blocks on squares. You can do vertical blocks and squares. But to take that a step further, you can start incorporating additional elements, elements that include Dutch doors, stickers, different color paper, pens, pencils, you name it, just anything to make it more fun and make it your own for that week. Now, as I mentioned, it can be really fun and really valuable to have spaces for memory keeping and or gratitude or habit tracking. I prefer to see my habits for the month all together, but that can be super overwhelming sometimes. I know I struggle with that. So having it broken down for the week can make it more manageable and potentially build up to the monthly. So I hope you found this video helpful. If there are any questions or comments you'd like to share, please just reach out to me down in the comments below. And again, I'm linking to my blog where you can get the gallery inspiration and you can check that out and bookmark that and head on over there if you need more inspiration. But thank you so much for watching today.